This is one Dogecoin. Well, not really. Okay, this is really one Dogecoin. As you can see right now, it's worth 54 cents. And for three days, I somehow have to survive off just this. Yep, you heard that right. I am going all in. No car, no food, no water, no shelter. Just the one Dogecoin. And if you don't know what Dogecoin is, I don't know what to tell you. It's a cryptocurrency. Do some research. So if I don't make enough money just off one Dogecoin today, I'm sleeping outside. Like, I'm not allowed to just go home and sleep there. Literally all out. I'm also not allowed to just beg for money or shoplift. Everything I make has to come from this one Dogecoin. Also, I get clothes. Like, come on, I'm not gonna not wear clothes. I have to find someone to flip this Dogecoin or to buy the Dogecoin off me or something. I have to make enough money to sleep tonight. Do you guys know what Dogecoin is? Yes, Dogecoin. You do? Well, it's cryptocurrency. What could I trade a Dogecoin to one of you guys for? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, Not okay. in that world. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be hard. People might know about it, but like, who can I like actually send it to? I have one Dogecoin and I'm trying to flip it and survive off of just one Dogecoin. Yeah, give you like 50 cents for it? Yeah, just something. Right now, man. Oh, dang. All right. You sounded like you were about to give yeah, it to Yeah, yeah. Like man. If I wanted to flip my Dogecoin and send it to you, can I like convert it or something? Oh, I don't know about that. The only reason I'm asking people if they'll trade something for it is because I don't want to convert it to USD because it's only going to be 50 something cents. Like if I could trade it for something more or just like an object, that'd be way better. What can I trade you for one Dogecoin? Do you have anything I, like, I can My trade dad. it for? What? <laughs> Wait, your dad? I need a dad. Wait, uh, so far, unsuccessful. If I get too hungry, man. <laughs> A dumpster diving. <laughs> what can you even buy with Dogecoin if I wanted to just buy it and trade that for something? All right, I guess the Dallas Mavericks Air Bolt. Like, dude, none of these is going to be one Dogecoin, right? It's going to be like hundreds, if not thousands. That is not a good sign. Just for the record, if so somebody's having a conversation, you don't break in the middle of it. All right, it's been like an hour. Good news is, I think every person we talk to knows what Dogecoin is. Bad news is, no one actually has a place I can send it to to trade something. So we're going to have to convert it to USD. Let's see. Oh, maybe I made some money. What are we at now? Man, you can see I own one. Oh, I made one sixth of a cent. Nice. All right, we're going with plan B. I'm going to take this all out in pennies. All right, this is what we have to work with. You guys have anything I can buy off of you for a penny? I have a pen. You do? You do? Okay. You tell my age. You look 30. Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> I'd rather have that. Mm, what's what's better? Probably the pen, right? These are yeah, the probably. best. So I'll let you select. All right, thank you so much. You are welcome. I have to give this to you. Thank you. All right, yeah, no problem. Keep it. This just started everything. Okay, so the reason why I got a ton of pennies is because a penny is basically worth the same as like a quarter. If I asked her for a quarter, it'd be the same thing. So I could just keep doing this, get as much stuff as I can, and then I start trying to flip it. I'm a generous man. You know what I'm saying? If I really wanted to, I could cheat, right? I could just take something out of the fountain. Do you guys have anything I can buy for a penny? You're not going to like this. What? I like that you're filming. This what? would be a good one. Oh, really? Most people yeah. don't like that we're filming, so. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, a, a cleansing. Girl stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, oh, it's for, my, my it's for like, <laughs> it's for like, you know, like. I didn't use it. How about that? Should we go? Is, is, that, is, that, <laughs> is that the best thing? What is that? To is clean that, your glasses, but you're not wearing glasses. Should we take the wipe? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I think I found the meta. Middle-aged women in groups of two. Hey, excuse me? Is there anything I can buy from you for a penny? No? Okay. Well, as I said that. Hey, man, you're going crazy, bro. All I have is a penny right now. All right. Yeah, man, no problem. So after that generous donation of mine, I spent the next hour first trying to buy more things off people with pennies. And then when that didn't work, I went straight to trying to sell either the pen or the white. Maybe I'm not the best salesman. <laughs> And after an entire hour of no success at all, it was clear there was a massive problem. I'm gonna have a lot of trouble flipping this pen if there's nobody here. We might have to like go to a place with like a ton of people. Yeah, I basically talked to every single person in the area. I had to start making money. If I wanted to sleep in a hotel tonight, it's gonna cost at least like $40, $50. And I have no car, right? And no money either. I can't just Uber. So I started having to make some calls. Hello. To see if you could drive me somewhere for a small amount of money. But How much are we talking? It's in the uh, less than one figure range. <laughs> yes. Can I pay you a very small amount of money to pick me up and drive me to like a crowded area? Yeah. I'm not allowed to use my car, and Kenneth can't drive me, right? I got you. Let me up. Yes. Me up. It's gonna be a very small amount of money, Michael. I will warn you right now. That's a good friend right there. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> bro, you have no idea how much you're about to help us. Hey, yo, don't run me over. <laughs> I'm gonna get a water. Dude, I've been so thirsty. Can I just get a large water, please? I'm trying to sell this pen for one dollar. Is there anything I can trade it for? Uh, she said she'll trade you her number. All right, what if I get your number and a dollar? I need something to like trade it with, cause I have to flip it. It just, yeah, no, it's actually a really good, nice pen. Okay. That's a yes. Yeah. All right. Searching. It's still searching. Hey, freaking yo. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take a picture and do it like, later when I'm not working. You can't do it now? Are you sure? I mean, I'm working. I will do it. I'm not going to scam you out of your turn. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't get the water. I've asked so many people if they want to buy that pen for a dollar, and not one person said yes. So I had to take the risk. She said, gonna. Oh, so she's capping. So I don't know. But so, I have her number, so I could just, you know, hey, where's the, where's the dollar? You know? Yeah, she probably gave you a fake number. <laughs> what? She, she could have, but it's just a, it's, no. What is she doing with that pen? Why would she do that? Anything but giving you the dollar. But, like, that's not a priority in her day. Like, bro, like, it's going to be a priority when I spam that shit. Cause I need that dollar. Okay, then she's gonna block you. But I know where she works now, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if it just sent right there though, like couldn't it just load? This is so good, bro. Yo, stop. Like, this is Please, like stop. the best thing I've stop. ever had. Stop, stop doing that. This is amazing. These guys are telling me that uh, I should have let her on. See, yeah, I'm not a bad like, person, Michael. She probably could have given you a place to stay, bro. Oh! Think about oh. these Wait, 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 no, I'm not gonna stay at a random person's house I just met with a very expensive camera, but it's yeah. funny because all of that would just be using her, Michael, and I'm not that kind of person, right? All right, so we made it to Piedmont Park. I texted, uh, I'm not gonna say her name. No reply. So we have two more plans, but it's not looking good for either of them. It is five something and we're still at like, what, 50 cents? So while waiting for the dollar, I continued trying to buy stuff for pennies. Got another pen right here. And eventually we got some good news. We have received our dollar on Cash yes, App. Yes, sir. Now I can just leave her on my <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty risky. Right now, we have one dollar, which you the dollar from Cash App, whatever this is. The new pen that's low key a really bad pen and then like 50 cents. I just don't know what to actually sell. Pencils. More pens, markers. You can't afford this. Yo, why? We have water. I get six of these. This could fit in the freezer, right? There's gotta be a fridge or a freezer here somewhere, right? Yeah, there wasn't. This was gonna be a problem. I have three pennies. Just out of curiosity, what if I didn't? Would I have to take it back? Uh, no. Oh, we just wasted three pennies. <laughs> what? I'm joking. <laughs> you mind if the three cents goes towards one of these pens? You don't take my pen? Yeah. Thank you so much. You better got the water, oh, bro. oh. So my plan was to go to another store just to put the waters in the freezer so they're cold, and then I try to sell them. Problem is, Michael couldn't drive us anymore, and the sun was setting. I think CB might be able to drive us. I didn't tell him exactly how much money it was gonna be, though. Would you be willing to drive us somewhere for a very small amount of money? No. Here's Michael's payment. We're really cutting it close, I'm not gonna lie. I'm selling cold water for $2, anyone wants one? I'm not skimming, I'm not skimming at all. Hey, what's up, man, what's up? <laughs> Alright, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Are you sure, man? Alright, man. Appreciate it, bro. Did we reduce it to one dollar? See that picnic over there? I could, but I won't. But I'm selling cold water for one dollar. You got like cash app? Yeah, I got cash app. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yes! I'm going to the back, I'm going to the back. How are you doing, CB? So right now we have like four something dollars, three waters, and two pens. Okay, well, I'll give you a proposition. If you give me the two pens, uh, I'll take you to McDonald's or Wendy's, and uh, I'll buy you two cheeseburgers right now. <laughs> stop, stop. Pens. I didn't tell him to say this. I gotta take that, bro. The food is not the best investment. You're out here overnight, right? Yeah. Wait, do you actually own any pens? No. Oh, really? All right, back to where we started. Went to Wendy's, got my cheeseburgers, enjoyed them very much. Also, I uh, paid CB five cents for driving us. I thought I wasn't gonna eat today, you know what I mean? I got a water too. We're down to $4.37. I have no idea where I'm gonna sleep. It's about to be midnight. We did really good. I mean, we 10 x our money and we ate. I'm trying to make a really nice plan for tomorrow. Oh, shoot, I hope you don't die. Kind of can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is for the content. I cannot see at all where I'm about to walk. This Oh man, dude, I can't see anything. I think there's a park a few minutes from here. That might be the move. Tomorrow's gonna be a huge day. We get an earlier start and I have a little bit more experience now. You know what I mean? Here it is. Made it to a park. I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty scared. Should I sleep on the play structure? Imagine sleep on the slide. There's a water right there, man. Maybe I can flip that. Some sunglasses. I don't think it's been open. There's a hat right here. Can I flip this hat? U.S. Army Air Force. Okay, no, that person probably wants that back. Hey, yo, is that some extra food in there? Looks like I'm sleeping on the tennis court. I would show you, but you're not gonna be able to see it. I found some more stuff. Uh, there is three tennis balls. I'm really doing this, guys. I can't believe it. My God, it's kind of lonely out here. You know what I mean? But I am so tired. I'm honestly hungry again. <laughs> see you guys. Hopefully. If I don't die in the morning.
Okay, that was one of the worst nights I've ever had. I did sleep outside and things started going wrong. It got dangerously cold. So I slept outside until like, I don't know, 4 a.m. I had to go somewhere safer and warmer. I couldn't feel my hands. Like I started having trouble breathing. It was bad. We thought about just staying in Atlanta and doing the whole video there, but like, I feel like sleeping in a crowded city Probably not the safest. So this was my plan today after hours of trying to think. Instacart not approved. TaskRabbit was actually $25 to apply, but I found a bike rental place where I don't have to pay up front and it's $5 an hour. We're gonna have to make enough money on probably like DoorDash, delivering food with the bike. If I don't profit enough to find a hotel tonight, I am sleeping outside again, which I don't want to do. That was so miserable. Bro, who knows what I'm gonna eat next? Yeah. It might be like another like 12 hours. Our rental rate? $10 for the first two hours and 20 for the day. That's good news. All right, thank you. Let's freaking go, man. You heard what she said? $20 for the whole day. I just have to somehow make enough money before 7 p.m. when this closes. And I may or may not be begging for tips. <laughs> Imagine. Wait, it's only two minutes away? Yeah, exactly. Yo, for 12. No, I already did. I already did. $12 and it's two minutes. That's, good. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, this is bumpy. There is no breaks. Let's go. I'm gonna pop a wheelie. Oh. If the dude's watching me, he's like, why is this dude going so slow? There's nothing wrong with like doing this on a bike, right? I mean, I know you're not supposed to. Hey, you know what's crazy? I actually have my own bike. That's like way better than this, but I'm just not allowed to use it, right? Oh, that's right here, it's right here. The only problem with uh, DoorDash is you have to go in all these restaurants. It's a very good fresh food I can't eat. Wait, I just realized I'm wearing a helmet. They know I'm on a bike. All right, thank you. I'm trying to get it like just so it'll fit. Confirm, pick up. Yo, this is hard, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shoot. Uh, at least we get a nice view. Yeah, the lady who ordered from the second restaurant just came out and took the food from me. Probably because I was taking so long, so I didn't even film that. Also, the food kept falling from the bike, so Kenneth had to carry it so it wouldn't spill. We're finally here. The fact that I haven't eaten or drinking anything, I just biked like three miles. It's probably more than that, right? Yeah. But I feel so bad. The reason why it was 9.50 is because he tipped before we even got here. Hey, bro, you, you're missing my shrimp and grits, bro. We don't even have enough to pay for the bike yet. We have less than five hours left. It's been two hours. On to another order. Chick-fil-A. I biked a mile and a half here. Pretty much all uphill. Bro, this hill is killing me, man. I need some food soon and I need water. I'm gonna order some water here too. Oh, I can feel it. Like I'm lightheaded all the time now. This is so bad. I hope I don't like pass out, you know what I mean? That'd be bad. This goes up right after the video, really my Tesla. <laughs> it's like I'm going to, going back to nothing. <sighs> nice and cold. All right, this one's uh, oh, 0.9 miles, not too bad. You guys saw the other dude got mad because the restaurant got their food wrong. He got mad at us, but like, I'm not gonna look in here, like go through his food, you know what I mean? Hey, go with this one, I actually have a happy customer. Do you have to walk through the parking garage? Thank you. Oh man, I'm so tired. If I could just Instacart at that Kroger dude. DoorDash is the only thing we're approved. Another Chick-fil-A. We thought about doing this with birds, like the scooters, but it's less profitable, so I have to take the risk. I'm so hungry right now, too, like with all this food. And yeah, maybe biking isn't the worst idea. There's so much traffic. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Look, it says deliver by 434. It's 437, not too bad. I have never been more hungry. Like I've gone longer without eating. Well, actually not really, because I barely ate yesterday, right? And I'm burning thousands of calories biking everywhere. Like I'm walking weird. Oh yeah, we're in the bike lane now. So we're at Walgreens right now. Basically like Instacart, but only on DoorDash. Person wants ice cream. I do too. I might pass out, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm probably the most tired I've ever been, especially with no food, but hey, I get to explore Atlanta, you know what I mean? I'm always trying to see the positive, you know? At this point, I've biked like 12 miles up and down hills with no food. I'm trying to stay positive, but all of a sudden it hit. My body was going into starvation mode. I am so miserable and tired right now. Just sitting under a bitch. I literally need a break. Are you trying to, are you trying to bike? Okay. Thank you so much. I need food. I, like, I, I'm just like speechless, dude. I've never been this tired, starved. Overall thoughts on uh, door dashing on a bike. Was it worth it in the end? Do we have another choice? I was gonna say the stuff we do for videos, but this is just the first video we're doing something like this, you know? <coughs> 
Okay, I know I'm like dying here, but at least we made money. Like if I didn't profit, what was it? $4.37, I would have lost the challenge. It's hot. Got some uh, off-brand soda. 81 cents. Dirty sprite. Oh my, I, I knew that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking as well. I'm feeling a bit better. I ate seven slices of that pizza, had to let it set in. I'm trying to figure out how I can not sleep outside tomorrow. It looks like I'm sleeping outside today. And if I couldn't get the hotel tomorrow, I would completely fail the challenge. I needed a car. I can't rent a car because I'm 19, but I can rent a U Haul and a U Haul starts at $20. I want to do something a little bit risky. Here you go, sir. Time for me to do the uh, walk of shame again and this time I have a pizza or pizza slice. I'm not gonna lie this whole experience makes me that much more thankful for what I have. Bro I had to deal with this train like all night last night. So what was my risky plan? Throw everything I had back in a dogecoin hoping it would turn to $20 by the time I woke up. In a way back to where we started. I would not recommend doing this. By the way make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're posting huge videos like this every week. This isn't even a blanket this is like a sheet. See you guys in the morning. Okay, bad idea. All right, well, sell so all. We lost 64 cents. I went on like Craigslist to see if there's people hiring for, you know, odd jobs. It's all like truck driver, tree climber. Imagine. <laughs> We're thinking like dog walking, dog sitting, house sitting. You need to get all these background checks that take like weeks. Do I like know someone that would like pay me to do some like really weird job? Hmm. Yo, Davis. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the only problem is like he's not. Close. I know, bro, he does not have his life together. Mm. Yo, I know your house isn't kept up the best. Is there any- What are you trying to say? <laughs> Davis, let's be honest here. Is there anything I can do at your house? I don't know, like clean your bathroom or like, I don't know, wash your dog. I don't know, wash his dog. <laughs> Something. First of all, my house is very kept clean. Thank you very much, Peter. You can walk Pharaoh though. I just woke up and I was like- Walk Pharaoh? I need as many things as possible. Is your grass cut? Oh, you don't have a lawnmower, do you? I don't have enough to buy a lawnmower for sure. There is one more thing I need. I'm gonna need a $5 deposit to make sure I don't get scammed. Cause I have to get a U-Haul to drive there. You can walk here, Peter. I believe no, you, No, by the time I get there, it'll be like tomorrow. There you go, I sent you five. You actually did? Deposit. Hey, we should scam him. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, look at Pharaoh. We'll be there soon. Freaking go, bro. I didn't think that was going to work first time. Yeah. Got another quarter. Now I have to walk to the U-Haul place. I'm not going to even complain about everything in my body that hurts right now. I bet you guys can imagine, though, especially sleeping on concrete. I want the smallest U-Haul you have. Oh my gosh. It's this one. Oh, man. How are they going to say there's no cargo vans available? Look. It, there's a pickup truck to you. Bro, I'm just not trying to spend so much on gas. You're on a tight budget. Yo, this thing probably gets like, what, five miles a gallon? And that's if I drive careful. Woo! Oh, I, got, I can't I can't drive like that, man. We are cutting it so close. I can barely even afford food right now. That quarter we found, you know, it's really counting now, but we have to uh, really make use of this thing. All right, Peter, listen, when you walk Pharaoh, I want you to consider as if you're walking a human. Why? Because he's strong, man. He's a big dog, you know? Okay. What if I let go? Don't do that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know you want food. It's all you ask me for all the time. The crazy thing is, I could have actually done this with like anybody's do dog, right? All right, we're putting in a shift here, guys. What is he doing? I think he's pooping. Ew! <laughs> I didn't see anything. I'm not glad. There's actually no way for me to pick that up. It's on the leave. Why not I just? <laughs> It's like nice temperature during the day. Just at night, it's so cold. I swear last night might have been worse than the night before. I put in my shift. I slept out there for as long as I possibly could. Oh, oh my God. Hey, yo. Why are you doing that? I'm trying to be a good citizen, you know? We couldn't find a bag. We're resorting to this. New engineering technique. Ah! Okay. Good enough. Dave's getting his money's worth, you feel me? Actually, he, he wouldn't care if I had like left for that, let's be honest. <laughs> you and Pharaoh had a good time. I did have to pick up his, uh, you know. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I wouldn't even do that. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, like, Davis, I knew this would be dirty, bro. Didn't he not say his house was spotless? Look, See, now you're in my <laughs> office, right? Your plaques are crooked. You have Q-tips. No, stop. Yeah, you can clean up, bro. I know that how much you paid that one lady to clean your house that one time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, see, that was it. <laughs> I 
wearing glasses. <laughs> Actually, spoilers, honestly. Really? See, look, satisfied customer. Bro, have you not seen all of David's? I knew you would have paid someone way more to do it. Let's be honest. All right, good. You can do these dishes. Right. Let's get to work. You think a random person will want me doing their dishes? Yeah, I have a baby. <laughs> no, man, no, dude, like, did I actually have a baby? I mean, you could scam me. We're at like one dollar and thirty cents right now. Yo, you did such a good job, man. How much are your services? Dog walking, clean his office, doing the dishes. I'll see for a few hours. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Peter McConville. Okay. Fifty. He could have scammed me. I might stop. I might charge back. You know. We technically still don't have enough money to even stay at the motel because all the miles I've been putting on this offsets the fifty dollars. Also, uh, I'm still very hungry. I still haven't eaten today. Yo, this would have been perfect yesterday. One point. 8 miles for $11? I'm really about to door dash in a U-Haul, man. <laughs> Should I go through a drive-thru? Probably a terrible idea, right? <laughs> this is also probably like the worst time to be driving something like this because it's literally during a gas shortage that's in Atlanta. We know you're in there. We literally see you working. <laughs> well, since you're not answering, there's only one thing left I can do. I have a door dash order to pick up. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good one. That's my man Aditya for the five dollar tip. You know what I'm saying? Got another one. <laughs> That's the right one. Time for a little lunch break. Kenneth, I know you drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, low key, this pizza has not been refrigerated. It's not too bad. It's caught to me like throwing up in like an hour. <laughs> we have not gotten a single order in over an hour and we have driven 26 miles and made $21. With how expensive this truck is, I think we've actually lost money. I'm not glad we're actually cutting it way too close. Finally! Hey, you see the five guys over there? We got a double order. We were waiting for like three hours. About, right? Yeah. We really gotta start making money. <laughs> There's this one Instagram caption I saw. It is like, DoorDash driver called, tell me to meet me in the lobby. I said, you work for Lobby Dash? <laughs> he tipped me $12. Shout out to my guy, Adam. Hopefully he's watching this video. I'm just dox them. We're here to get Indian food. And Kenneth pointed out, what the f What? That person is hanging off the edge. School zone! All right, we finished our DoorDash shift for the day. We made $65. So technically right now, this is gonna sound like a lot of money. It actually still might not be enough. We have $116 in like how many cents? 39. Now the reason I'm concerned, like the reason I still haven't bought any food today is because there's no more motels left for, I don't know, like 40, $50. So that might've just screwed us. On top of that, we still have to pay for all the miles we put on, you know, this honker and the gas while there's a gas shortage. I'm not gonna lie, we still might not make it. We might have just got blessed. We'll see. I think this was still over like $60 though. <laughs> Yo, look at the pool. Oh, what is that smell? You smell that? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. These three days, like this took a toll on me. Ugh. It looks like we barely made it. So with the fees and taxes included, this was $63.99. And then the miles we put on the U-Haul is $33.97. I'm using my phone, I, I forgot. And then on top of that, the gas was $13.41. So we barely squeezed by with $5.02. All to just get the hotel room. But we survived. We survived off the Dogecoin. But if I didn't know anybody in this city, it would have been way harder. 